everyone i am karin thank you for stopping by again if you are new here a very big welcome to you if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back so today's video will be on this makeup look so i started off with my brows done off camera and i'm just going in with this urban decay eyeshadow primer you can use a concealer for this step and yeah the eyeshadow primer just helps those oil that are always on the eyelids like they control the oils on your eyelids and make the color of your eyeshadow just sit in place you know so after i did that i went in with this palette by juvia's place it's called afrique by juvia's place i went in with the color cameroon closer to my skin tone and i'm just blending that in onto my crease and just blending it all over my crease and this is not really a complicated look i'm just trying to look for like very easy ways to begin this makeup journey here on youtube so uh i wanted to put some glitter so i went in and added some eyeshadow primer again so that the glitter will really just sit in place and then i went in with the nubian palette and i used a dark brown for the side for the corners of my eye so i'll be using four palettes by juvia's place today so after that i just did the same thing on the other eye and as you can see i'm just adding the glitter here uh, is this really a glitter it's not it's not a glitter guys it's just like a, a more shiny pigment or a more shiny pigment from my eyeshadow palette the one the nubian the nubian by juvia's place so some glitter were, were almost entering my eyes so i just had to wipe that off I'm just going in with a darker brown on the side of my eyes as I said earlier and just blend it in together so here I'm just using the L'Oreal Paris matte signature uh, eyeliner to line my eyes <music> So once I was done with my eyeliner, I did my lashes off camera. Then I went under my eyes again with my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer because I was going to be working a lot with colors. So I went in with, again with my Afrique by Juvia's Place palette. I The orange color is called Dakar. So initially I wanted an all orange, but I changed my mind in between the line. I wiped off some part and I still added the eyeshadow primer and then I went in with a green because my scarf as you saw in the beginning had like green orange yellow so I was like I want to play with some colors so I added that green and then I did the same thing on the other side I wiped it off a little bit and then I added the green and I continued this was the last stage for my eye makeup and the next thing i did was to do my face so i went in to prime my face with this benefit the professional primer and i just let it dry for some time before going in with other products so i started off with this method i'm seeing online sometimes it really works out great for me but sometimes 
I will come out as a, a very beautiful ghost. So, but this time around, it really worked. So I just went in to conceal wherever I would usually conceal with my Juvia's Place uh, concealer in the shade 11. And then I went in with, for the contouring, I used this chocolates palette by Juvia's Place to contour where I would usually contour, even though I forgot my forehead right here. And after that, I just went in to blend in my concealer a little bit before I can proceed with my foundation. So here I just blended it a little bit. I started off with my Fendi Beauty Pro Filter Soft Mate long wear foundation but it was too light and so i proceeded with a darker one from the maybelline brand it's a 370 deep bronze and this one is darker and you see how it just blends effortlessly with the tiffany beauty one so I, when i was done doing this i just went ahead to blend both foundations together he, this is when you have to you don't have to joke with your blending game in at this stage because you have to blend the living whatever out of your face so i just went ahead to blend as much as i could and i proceeded in adding foundation wherever it was less and then i just continued blending until you know i had the result i wanted <laughs> I just realized that uh, I could clearly see my pores so I just went ahead to add some foundation and then I continued blending <laughs> your neck the neck is very important my neck is darker so I always go down a little bit just blend blend in that foundation down there <laughs> so once I was done doing all the blending blending I just went ahead to use my setting powder from Juvia's Place again. It's called the I Am Magic Setting Powder. This shade is in the shade Gobi. And I just line my under, underneath my jaws. Uh, I don't do the under eye thing too much because my under eye tends to be really dry. So what I do is I just use the setting powder and I wipe it off immediately. So this you could barely see it on that brush but i did use the setting powder there it's just that i don't let it sit because when it sits it just gets cakey and all that so i just concentrate down on my jawline so here i'm just highlighting my nose i was just highlighting and contouring my nose here so once i was done contouring my nose i went in to fix my bottom lashes i use this mascara from milk makeup it's called the kush mascara and then i went ahead to spritz my face with this elf cosmetic matte magic mist and set and then i proceeded to my lips i lined up my lips with this dark brown pencil that i got from my local beauty supply store and then the lipstick I use here it's a Sephora brand and it's uh, in the color 75 it's called uh, Undisturbed Lip Stories so I use the color 75 on this brand 
it's a very dark brown and once i was done with the dark brown i just went in to use a lip gloss that has like some pigment to it it's from earth cosmetic too it's a plumping lip gloss that i just went in to add it there in the middle of my lips and then i just blended to make sure everything is together you know so this was my final stage and this is my final look i just wanted to show you guys a little clip of how i did this headscarf so i just went ahead to take this old uh, scarf i had laying around i made it in a circle and then i secured it down with this wig cap i literally watched uh, a video like a few minutes after doing this scarf because i was not too sure how i wanted to tie it so i went on pinterest and i just saw this video and I'm like hmm this is easy so i was like let me just come and show you guys so i got this scarf from the busy supply store for like six dollars six dollars and fifty cents and yeah please just watch along because it's kind of explanatory enough so i don't i don't want to be just playing with my words here so please just watch closely and you really figure out what i am doing so if you've watched this video up to this stage please ensure to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't yet please hit that subscribe button if possible hit the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever i post a new video yeah give me a thumbs up share this video like subscribe and yeah don't be stingy share so here i'm just <laughs> i'm just gonna try to explain this part i'm just trying to wrap the scarf around my hair and tuck it in front and i'm just trying to do that swell thing so that it won't be too puffy in front and then i'm just tucking it in in front there and doing the same thing with the other side yeah and then i just went ahead to fix the corners fix anything that i wasn't feeling comfortable with and yeah this is the final look thank you so much for watching thank you so much for sacrificing some time to watch this video let me know how i did in the comments and we'll see each other in the next video thank you so much bye bye